and this is lab 2, the physical tag read characteristics. In this lab, you will test how these fixed RFID readers read RFID tags under varying conditions. At the end of this lab, the goal is for you to become familiar with power sessions and to understand how different factors affect the read range of RFID tags. For this lab, we are going to connect to the reader through power sessions to view the tag reads. So first, you need to launch the Zebra Power Sessions application by clicking the shortcut on the desktop. Then click the Find Readers button to discover all the readers on the network. After seeing the Finding End Readers message, uh, it will be displayed. Then you can select your reader by clicking on the checkbox next to the name and then hitting the Connect button. You'll have to double click on the checkbox in order to select that reader. And then you can click the start button and it will start reading tags. There you go. Then click the stop inventory button and there's a clear at the bottom of the table to go ahead and clear that tag list. So now that we're successfully connected to the reader, let's perform the tag reads under the varying conditions. First, we'll just do an open air tag. So what you can do is hold the tag over the antenna and just lift it high. You can see the tag reads at the top of your application. You can see when they're reading and then it stops. That's going to be the maximum height that you'll be able to read that tag just in open air. All right, then go ahead and stop that inventory and clear your list. Now we'll test it using a full water bottle. So let's place the tag on the side of a water bottle and click your start inventory. As you can see with the tag pressed directly up against the full water bottle, the read, the max height is a lot shorter than it was for open air. Now you can try it with your empty water bottle. You notice how it goes up almost to the same height as the tag just in the open air. Okay, now let's try it with the metal soda can. You just place the tag directly up against the metal soda can. You can see it's not reading even a few inches away from the antenna. Now when you take the tag and you separate it from the metal surface by at least a quarter of an inch, it starts reading. And this shows the effect that the metal can have on the RFID tags. Okay. And then finally make sure that you click the disconnect button before closing power sessions.